Hi folks, this is not my baby Yoda, it is my son's, I'm just going to put that out of the shot. And I want to, this week I want to tell you about a place that I just recently found that's quite magical. So, roll intro. Hi folks and welcome to another video of Mackenzie 4. I would just like to thank you very much for tuning in and this week I want to talk about a place I have driven past many many times and I never knew about. In Scotland we have a small season where bluebells come up, the little flowers and in Scotland we have little forests that basically the, the floor is completely carpeted with. Now, I know this happens all over the world in certain places, but in Scotland it's very special. Um, I've known about a small bluebell wood quite local to me, only a couple of miles away, and I didn't know about this one, maybe 10 miles away from me. And it is absolutely massive and absolutely magical. So I just want to take you through the shots from the day I got to spend at the bluebell woods. So. Here's the first couple of shots. Enjoy. Now those shots that I put up were obviously taken with my Fuji Film GFX 100S. They were taken with a 45mm prime, so the 2.8. Um, they were taken middle of the day, uh, mostly. Some were taken in the early evening, but honestly, uh, the I don't even think the photos do it justice. It was just gorgeous, and the colours were so vivid. I mean, I'm colour blind, and the colours were vivid to me, so. God knows what it was like for everyone else. Um, it was just absolutely fantastic just getting to walk around this peaceful wood and being one of the only ones there. Um, uh, now, my pronunciation of this might be wrong, but it's Clinclavin Bluebell Wood. Um, it's just between, um, it's just about a mile outside of Murfley in Perthshire, Scotland. If any of you are visiting and you're when you're in the bluebell season. Now the bluebell season is really from the early to mid May till sort of the second week in June is when you get sort of the, the most amount of bluebells out. And usually every year I miss it without fail. It just so happens this year I was having a drive looking for something to shoot for this week's video and I luckily came upon it. Um, I stumbled across it and I was very, very happy to find it. Um, I'm going to put up some more of the shots just now for you. I think the place is absolutely magical and I hope that more people can go and enjoy it. Here they are. Now, I've put up some shots there. What I would say to you is please like, comment and subscribe. And if you like, comment and subscribe, what will happen is you will get entered into a competition. Now that competition is for a by 40, 40 inches by 30 inches fine art print. What I'm going to do is I'm going to print it. It could be one of my images, it can be one of your images. I will cover the, coast the, coastage? the postage cost within the UK. If it's out with the UK and the rest of the world, please, you cover the postage cost. 
I know that seems a little unfair, but that's just the way it is. This competition is running until the end of June 2021, so you don't have a lot of time. Um, any comment and any subscriber before the end of June 2021 is entered automatically into the competition. And I will announce the winner and the print will be getting shot off to them. So yes, um, please like, comment and subscribe. Uh, or if you dislike, uh, but you subscribe and comment, you're still entered into the competition. Right, that's enough about that. Back to some more gratuitous shots of the glorious Blue Bell Boots. Enjoy. As I say, these were all shot on one day um, exclusively with the GFX 100S and the Fujifilm um, 45mm f2.8 for that. Uh, it was just a, fun, a dream to use in that scenario, just getting to walk around. I didn't have a tripod, I just shot handheld and it was just a wonderful experience. And these places basically rely on charity. Now, in the UK, um, sorry, um, as I say, I'm having a bit of technical difficulties with my phone there, connected to the camera to make sure it's still recording. Um, these places in the UK rely on charities, like the Woodland Trust was the one that um, runs that one. Now, none of these videos are sponsored. I don't have any sponsors yet. Um, just the Woodland Trust is a fantastic organisation it helps keep these places tidy and make sure there's places to, for people to park their cars and to let people know that these places exist. Um, now, as I'm aware, that that's probably the case in every country. Every country will have something like that that generally makes the wildlife in your country accessible and lets you know about it. Now, after the couple of years we've had with COVID, well, I'm saying a couple of years, it feels like a couple of years support these groups because without them i mean if you've been anywhere near the countryside or, or in whichever country you're in and um, you've probably found stuff that you never knew existed and it's been you know you found out about these organizations please support them because they're absolutely fantastic um, and they're a fantastic resource for photographers and videographers where was i going with this video I don't know. Um, I guess it's just a, another ramble about, about me talking about how much I'm enjoying getting out to shoot. Um, I mean, I've not done any tutorials. There's billions of them online that are probably going to be better than I can do. Um, I just like talking to you about going out and shooting images. Um, like, I say, like I said, and, it's either last video or a video coming up. I've got a drone now that um, I haven't started enjoying using, so it's, it's just a whole new experience for me getting out there a bit more. Um, and I'm loving it. And I'm hoping you're enjoying watching the videos as well. So I think um, I should probably just end it there. Really, just a short video this week. Um, and yeah, I will leave you with some more... Actually, again, I've messed up. Before I go, on my website, I've started making some clothes. There's some unique items there that you wouldn't get anywhere else. And there's some normal stuff there. Go on and have a look at mckenziephoto.com. If you go into the shop, you'll see what's available. And until the end of June this year, I'm running a discount of 10% off. All you have to do is put in Mackenzie Photo 10, just like at the bottom here, at checkout. And what that'll do is I'll take £10, not £10, 10% of your total bill. Now, if I don't ship to a country where you are, please message me 
and I can rectify that. Um, I've put in a lot of countries, um, hopefully it's where you are and you can get stuff shipped to you straight away and it's just easy. So yeah, there's, there's that as well. So I've got the competition running, I've got a discount on uh, in my shop doing clothing line. What I'm also going to do in, the up in a few weeks is I'm actually going to start doing print sales. They'll be signed by me. They'll be signed by me. They'll be limited. Hi, folks. You may notice I was a bit different from the other part of the video. I just want to say thank you very much for watching. Um, the other part of the video was recording fine. I had major issues with the remote shooting uh, part of the app. Um, I found that cut drops out quite a lot. Um, so I've been having major issues trying to get up and running. So. This is just to say, for the end of the video, just to say thank you very much for watching. I hope you like, comment and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next video. Here are some more images from the Bluebell Wood. Thank you very much. Take care.